Home to perhaps the loudest fans in the NFL, Century League Field is the site for this matchup between the 49ers and the Seahawks. We were at practice this week with both teams, and just watching them, you could tell they're going to lean on the ground game a little bit more maybe than most people expect, which is going to surprise some folks. Yeah, I think it's going to surprise a lot of people. It's going to surprise the, the opposite defense, there's no doubt. Might even surprise some of the people in the stands who wanted to come here and see these star quarterbacks. Well, it's going to be about these running backs today. Let's see who can win the battle. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Quarters formation here for the defense. To the ground here. Gets past the first wave. Games 16. Good job by the running back that time. Finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. On first down, it's back to the ground game. The defense stands up early and stops the run cold. Good job that time. You said it, Jim, by the defense. They attacked the offensive line, and there was nowhere for the running back to run the football. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up, imposing their will early on the defense with a solid effort on the ground. Well, we talk so much only about the passing game in the NFL, but it's still about who can out hit the other one. And right now, the offense, they are winning that battle. Nice run. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Second down and eight. The Seahawks get a first down. Well, then you want to spy the quarterback. That's great. You might stop him from running, but look at the open people down the field. Good throw and catch by the quarterback. Hand off. He'll go left. Good job, good job. Number 22. The ball carrier. No game on the play. Quarters formation here for the defense. Second and ten. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, the defense has got to be happy about this situation. Anytime early in the game you get an offense at third and long, you are looking to make a play and get things rolling on your side. Takes a receiver in the slot. Looking to the right side and throwing. Knocked away, incomplete. You're near midfield, it's fourth down, what do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it, play field position, make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Baldwin's in the slot. The throw to the left. Intercepted. They've got him down there. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. First down, Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. Leaps into the air and pulls it in. Perfect defense call that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. First down, following the long play from the gun. Very nearly intercepted. Well, the quarterback can't get him open. He threw to the right guy that time. But the coverage was so good by the defense, uh, nowhere to get the completion. It's now second down. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Under pressure and incomplete. This is third down. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. 
incomplete, almost going in the other direction. When you play man-to-man -man coverage, it takes a good throw and catch. That time, neither was there. Another incomplete pass. Kaepernick from the gun. Throwing now to his left. Catch made by Mario Manningham. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs, it's fourth down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First and ten. Throws to the right. The pass complete, and he's brought to the ground. When a quarterback can run, he usually takes one guy out of pass coverage. Look at the spy that time on the quarterback. That opens up the passing lanes. Good throw and catch. That reception gave them the first down. Setting up screen. Almost intercepted. And Rice is lined up in the slot. Second down and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Unable to bring it in. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. Russell Wilson has it under center. Midway through the first. Russell Wilson out to Sidney Rice. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Russell Wilson out to Sidney Rice. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Running it like it's an option play. Runs it across. Touchdown. Ah, oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first to go and you score. Now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets to third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run. Nice touchdown. going to have a stoppage here because the booth wants to have a look at this potential touchdown. So this is just a matter of did any portion of the ball break the plane as this play is being reviewed and challenged. Will it be a touchdown or not? Yep, just remember all it takes, you said the word any portion, just the tip of that football, whatever it is, that's all you need. We'll find out if that happens. Defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play. Finds the sacred side. Touchdown. Well, when you get close to the goal line, you always have to look out for the tight end because any time there's a, just a little bit of deception, that deception is enough for the tight end to get that area where he can get open. That time he does it. Touchdown. Extra point was good. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. First down here. Trying the right side. Two. 
after the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. And here he goes. No one's going to get him now. The 40, the 30. That little wiggle just left the defender standing there. Colin Kaepernick running the football like he did at the University of Nevada. He runs that zone option read, and when it's his time to keep the football, he can make it go. Now first and ten. And he'll go to the left. McDonald's moved from the tight end position to the slot. They're running the option. Here's the pitch. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Kaepernick's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Almost intercepted. And what you do in man-to-man -man defense sometimes, get up there and disrupt the wide receiver. Disrupt his rhythm, disrupt the timing, and what do you get? Another incompletion. Second down coming up. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Great pass, great catch, great control. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion, and there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there. Stepping up to the line at the six-yard line. Welcome back to the action. Today, it's been all about the defenses. It's third down coming up. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Take the points. That's what I'm telling you, Coach. Take the points. You didn't get it done on third and goal. Get three points and keep momentum on your side. He'll fire it out to the left. Touchdown, 49ers. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. Oh, he actually misses the point after. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. And he begins his return. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. <laughs> Quarters formation here for the defense. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. He did everything right, didn't he? The quarterback that time, he was physical. He stayed on the wide receiver. He was reading the quarterback. So it was easy for him to knock the throw down. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. He's going to the left. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys pat you on the rear end and tell you how good you are, and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Running back gets it on the handoff. Left side. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. When you have a defense as fast as this one, they over-pursue. So that's why you want to run a counter run. Take advantage of the fact that they are just charging too fast, too hard, and not thinking on the defensive side. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second and 11. 
working that left side. Harvin's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Lynch is taking the handoff. Going to lose yards here. Well, that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. Trying to work that left side. Interception. Fakes him out. That was a tremendous job by the defense. Even though they missed the sack of the quarterback, they keep hustling. They chase him outside the pocket, and then he panics, makes a bad decision, and throws an interception. set in the slot for this snap. We're gonna take off with it. He's got some daylight. He's brought to a halt. Well, that time he's under pressure. Uh, he can't stand in the pocket. He takes off, and as you look down the field, nobody is open, so the quarterback is forced to run, and he picks up some big yards. First down coming up. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second and 13. And the give to Frank Gore. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it, and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Gore is going to take the handoff now. Impressive piece of running by Gore. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. That long gain sets them up here on this play. They hand it off to him again. There's a signal from the far side. The hands are up. It is a touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. Well, it was called one way on the field. It was a booth review, and the call is overturned. Number six coming up on this drive. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. That's just a bad job by the quarterback that time. Bad decision. He keeps the football, doesn't pull the defense, and he gets taken to the ground. He loses yard. Had it, but dropped it. Third and goal. You don't get it in the end zone. What do you do now? I think you go for it. You call the right play. Give your team a chance to put a touchdown on the board. And he drives it through field goal well Jim that field goal puts them in the lead it was a nice drive by the offense and what it does it just gives you confidence you did some positive things on the field and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game he will run this one back and he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21 Russell Wilson has it under center. First and ten, they feed the running back. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. He'll stay on the ground on first down. Good job on the ground there by Lynch. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. Staying with the running game on first down. 
And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Seahawks official. Robert Turbin's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. Second down. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. First and 10 as they go ground here. Runs out of bounds. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football, that's how you stop long runs. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. You don't see it often in today's game. These gloves these wide receivers wear, my gosh, anybody could catch it. I don't know how he dropped it. Defense comes out of the nickel. Third and goal from the one. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. I think the big decision is now, Jim, do you kick the football, take the three points, or do you go for it on fourth down? To me, you kick the football and get three points on the board. Nickel formation for the defense here. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. It's fourth down, and it's goal to go. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. This is really demoralizing. When you drive the football down the field, you're in a fourth down situation. You want to keep this drive going. Terrible play call by the coach. Stops the drive. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Left side. Puffed up the football. When you're running that fast on the defensive side and you put that shoulder right on that football, it's coming out. Great job of the defense. McDonald in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. First and ten. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, after watching that play, I think it's safe to say you can tell uh, it's an injury to the lower body. Really big hit. Uh, feel bad for the guy. I hope he's okay. Ball is out, and the defense has it. Nice tackle. The defense comes up with the big play, the hit, and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. Oh, 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 oh. Offense lines up here. Challenging the defenders to the right side. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. 
That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes, they go up, they make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. And he's intercepted. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Looks to his left. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. The 49ers call a timeout and are left now with only one. This play set up by the long gainer. Breaks free, has some space to work with. What an effort and a touchdown. How about the blocking up front? Let's the running back get in the secondary, and he is so quick and elusive, he avoids the tackles and takes it all the way for the touchdown. The 49ers with the PAT to come. Inside of the uprights. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. <laughs> Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Taking it up the middle. The Seahawks are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Tate's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and six. Ball's on the ground. This one's going back the other way. That was just a terrible job by the offensive player that time. Protect the football. No excuse for letting it uh, fumbling a football in a situation like that. The kick is This is exciting to the defense, no doubt about it. They have to come out there. The offense has good field position, but they stop them right away, and the offense misses the easy field goal. We're back here now in this one, where the 49ers are leading by nine. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. Let's round! Let's round! Gores in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. Well, they call you an outside linebacker for a reason. That means you play outside, and you stop the wide runs by the offense, and he did it that time. Good job, makes the tackle. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, Jim, they didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Miller's lined up outside on the right. Kaepernick's got it in the gun. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. First and ten. It's handed to the running back. He's brought down at the 46. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, 
Then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. No one was open. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Sidney Rice falls in that bullet pass. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. Intercepted! He's brought down. I, well, I have to say, that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. The 49ers approach the line, and they're going with their jumbo package. No hesitation that time by the middle linebacker. He comes flying up in there, makes the hit, stuffs that run. Second and ten, and now they'll try over again on second down. Muscles through the defender. Gets to about the 36. Well, the quarterback gets out of the pocket and picks up yards. I mean, now listen, the defensive coordinator has got to put an extra defender in there and spy on him. So, in other words, when the quarterback steps up the run, you have a guy waiting for him. Make the tackle before he can pick up yards. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. in the backfield. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Second and one. Back to the running back. He'll go to the left. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Well, you get a couple first downs on a drive. It just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. It loosens up the offensive play caller, and there's nothing like dictating to the defense. I love it. A receiver in the slot. First and ten, Gore. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second and 11. Screen makes the reception. Gains maybe five. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Taking it right up the middle. 
A tackle that had to be made. The battle set up for down. Chip shot here. No, hold up. There is no kick. It, it, it's a fake field goal. 49ers in the end zone. Nice job by the offense. The field goal team, they took advantage of an aggressive defense. They faked the field goal, throw it down the field for the score. Lining up now for the two. Here's the running play, off tackle. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. He'll start his return. Right past one player. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. We'll be back to the beautiful skyline of Seattle for the start of the fourth after the break. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. Well, when you want to put all the pressure on the quarterback to make really good throws down the field, play tight man-to-man -man coverage. It takes perfect throws to get completions. Not there that time. Russell Wilson has it under center. Throws the pass. Knocked down. Good job by the quarterback reading the wide receiver. He is all over him, and it makes it easy for him to swat down the throw by the QB. formation here for the defense throws a strike sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line and sometimes it's just bad defense they can't get to the quarterback and that's another completion line. they're back at the line after that catch for a first down the off tackle run is just what it says it is you're going to read the tackle block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside usually this is the first running play Every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Hand off to the back. The tackle was made. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. Takes in the slot. Wilson from the shotgun. Reed makes the interception. He stacked up at that point. What a terrible job by the quarterback. But nobody's open, tries to force the pass, and look, what's it turned into? An interception. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Inhales the pass. The 49ers now move the chains. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. They've got a first down now after that catch. Tight ends in motion here. Back to the air here on first down. Secures it with two hands. Breaks away. It's Earl Thomas who makes the tackle. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. Ohio! Ohio! First down here after the completion. Tight end in motion. Frank Gore gets it here. They bring him to the turf. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Let's 
There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Wide to the left. Going to take it the distance. The 40. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. It's kind of refreshing to watch, isn't it? To see a team that has faith, the toughness, and the patience to just keep running the football, grinding out these first downs, resting their defense, and tiring out the opponent's defense. He sends the halfback in motion. First down and 10. And they go back to the ground, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. down coming up going to drop back they're going to get him this time the name of the game is hit the guy with the football isn't it that's what it is the quarterback has it the defensive end what a nice play gets to him that time and gets the big hit The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. To Vernon Davis. Count it. Touchdown. Well, that touchdown just put the icing on the kick, Jim. Whatever you want to say, because now the lead's too big. Not enough time for the other team to come back. Great job by the offense. No, it's not. It's a fake. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. And he's brought down right at the 43. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Eyeing that left side. Ball is out. The defense has the football. They pounce on him there. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your hands, they are going to attack it. You've got to know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better. First down all the way. Dropping back three. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And the pass incomplete. <laughs> Quarterback was under a lot of duress on that pass. And alas, it's incomplete. All right, and listen, I know he was under duress, but you got to hit these type of throws in the NFL. You're not always going to get perfect protection. That's not a good job by the quarterback. Looking to the right side and throwing. Ball is out, and the recovery is made by the defense. That'll stop the play right there. Great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. In trouble now. For a gain of about five. Russell Wilson has it under center. Gets away from the pressure. He'll fire it out to the left. <laughs> Miller's shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. Third and five, pitches it back. Steps out of bounds.
takes lined up in the slot. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Failed to pick up the first down, and they'll give the ball back to the other side. Good job by the linebacker that time. Saw the receiver coming in his area, read the quarterback, and in wonderful position to knock the pass down. Crabtree is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Brandon Browder with the interception. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Tate's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and 10. Drives ahead. That's a tackle right near the 48. The Seahawks call a timeout. They're first. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and 10. goes deep to Sidney Rice. What a catch down the middle of the field. I know they need a lot of breaks to maybe win this football game. In the red zone now, they got to get in the end zone quick. Here's the first snap after the big play. They give it to the running back. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. down here the throw to the left and that pass is going out of bounds incomplete when you get down in the red zone the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense let's see if he can do it his team is down he needs a big play here this will be the final snap third and goal at the three throws to the right ball's going to be incomplete a hit knocked the ball out Should be an easy one here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That's going to do it here in this one. All right, Phil, before we go, tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room right now.